Hello, I'm Matt, and in this video I want to show you how to paint shadows. Shadows are added after your picture has been painted. We refer to this as stage 3, and it comes just before the highlight stage. Without shadows your painting will look lifeless, as they give it depth. Shadows are painted over the finished scene, as both shadows and the paint used are transparent. Instead of using black, which is too flat, we mix our shadow colour using equal amounts of the red and blue, if you have a Cachilio kit, and the red and the darker of the two blues if you have a Cantiso kit. This gives interesting, vibrant shadows. I have kept black paint out of your pack as you won't need it. On the colour guide, we have indicated in blue shading where to paint the shadows on your picture. You can also refer to your photograph. Your colour guide also shows you the direction and height of the sun in the picture, because it determines the angle and length of the shadows. As you can see here, when the sun is high, the shadows are short. As the sun gets lower, the shadows get longer. And when the sun is on the left of the picture, the shadows will point to the right, and vice versa. Shadows vary in their intensity. Bright, direct light produces dark, sharp shadows, whereas more diffused light, on a cloudy day for example, produces softer, more subtle shadows. Soft shadows are painted by adding water to the blue-red paint mix, whilst darker shadows are achieved by using two layers of the shadow paint, allowing some time to dry between coats. When painting shadows, use the brush strokes in the most practical direction, and keep the brush strokes for each particular shadow going the same way. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.